Alright, so Cyberpunk 2077 just got an FSR 3 frame generation update and that, uh, that's what we'll be testing in this video. Today we'll be using an RDX 4070 Ti Super paired with the 14600K of CPU. That again is paired with DDR5 6400 mega of transfers per second CL32 memory. And uh, currently I'm just running at 1440p on the high preset using DLSS quality just to get a baseline for performance here. And uh, before we start enabling any frame generation technologies, you can see we have an average there of 150 frames per second and our 0.1% lows are sitting at 91. All right, so if we go ahead and then just enable DLSS3 frame generation here, just using the exact same settings. Uh, now it does say that you have to restart the game if you click apply. You only have to restart the game when you apply FSR frame generation. So this actually still works. So getting uh, resetting our numbers here and we went from around 150 frames per second to just over 200 frames per second, right? So a pretty decent bump in our performance here. We saw around uh, 70 frames per second increase, but uh, let's see what the, the average is. Our frame time graph is extremely smooth and our 0.1% lows and our 1% lows are pretty good as well. But as you can see, getting back to the spot here, we had an average of 216 frames per second with our 1% low sitting at 182 and our 0.1% low sitting at 135. Well, all right. So let's go ahead and enable FSR frame generation quickly and then we'll restart the game. Just one thing, if we select FSR frame generation, we have to use FSR upscaling unfortunately it's not decoupled it's not fsr 3.1 frame generation so we have to use fsr upscaling as well all right let's restart the game and see how this goes all right so we are back here with fsr 3 frame generation let me just reset the numbers again uh, as you can see our frame rate is actually quite a little bit higher than with dlss frame generation but our lows are suffering quite a lot our 0.1 percent lows in particular the frame time graph is not that smooth and there are some micro stutters that I can definitely feel and that's why the 0.1% lows are actually pretty low here. So I mean th this is actually very good for people with older GPUs. You can see our average there is 253 frames per second. When I say older GPUs I mean GPUs that don't support DLSS 3 frame generation. It's just I do think it needs a little bit of work because uh, if you if you look at the image quality, it, the DLSS definitely looks much better than FSR here. And just the performance, the stuttering and the lows, the micro stuttering, etc. with FSR, it's, uh, it's quite a bit more than with DLSS frame generation, even though our average frame rate is quite a bit higher. We were sitting with 220 frames per second with DLSS 3 frame generation and before we stood still here we were seeing 250 frames per second on average with FSR so it's quite a little bit of a boost there which is welcomed obviously. I just think that uh, FSR uh, frame generation definitely still needs a little bit of work. So let's just see what the differences are at 4k quickly. Alright so it's going to be a little bit in reverse now due to me having to restart the game. We are at 4k now still at 4k on the high preset with the FSR set to quality and FSR 3 frame generation enabled and we are getting around 130 140 frames per second here. Yeah, just want to see what the average is after the run. I know it's a very short run it's just to, to give you an idea what the differences are in performance here and uh, once again the frame time graph is not the smoothest right but we are seeing around 130 140 frames per second here with 0.1 percent lows sitting at 51 which is a little bit low so i'm going to restart the game again and then just enable dlss 3 frame generation and uh, we'll see what happens all right so we are back with dlss 3 frame generation still dlss quality 4k on the high preset and we are seeing around 20 frames per second less here with DLSS 3 frame generation. Image quality is quite a bit better though, I must say. And uh, the frame time graph is a lot smoother. The lows are a lot better. You can see we are seeing 89 frames per second uh, lows there, 91. And uh, it's pretty close to our average there, which is pretty good. And the frame time graph is extremely smooth. So DLSS 3 frame generation definitely has a better image quality and it also has a better frame time consistency but fsr3 frame generation is definitely still a welcome addition to this game one last test that i want to do is i just want to test uh, with ray tracing enabled and then we'll call it a day 
All right, so we're back at 1440p, still on the high preset. DLSS set to quality, DLSS three frame generation enabled, and I've set the ray tracing to, uh, I enabled all the settings, so set them all to on, and then selected uh, ultra when it comes to ray trace lighting. So pretty, pretty demanding uh, settings for ray tracing, but you can see we are getting around 130 frames per second. Average uh, standing still getting 130 frames per second. Our 1% closer sitting at 104, and our 0.1% closer sitting at 65. So slightly less than I would say is ideal. There were one or two additional stutters now with ray tracing enabled. So let's uh, restart the game again with the FSR frame generation and see what the differences are. All right, so we're back with FSR frame generation this time. And once again, our frame rate is around 20 frames per second higher than with the LSS3 frame generation. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much the, the same uh, percentage gain we saw earlier. I just wanted to see uh, how ray tracing would affect that as well. But you can see our 0.1% percentlers are even worse than with DLSS 3 frame generation previously. So definitely some stuttering issues here with FSR frame generation, unfortunately. But I do think that uh, it's still pretty decent for uh, GPUs that don't support DLSS 3 frame generation. Unfortunately, this game does not uh, or did not implement FSR 3.1 frame generation, meaning that DLSS and FSR uh, are decoupled from the frame generation technologies. You can use DLSS uh, 3 frame generation with FSR, but you can't use FSR frame generation with DLSS, right? That makes sense, unfortunately. Right, so just a quick video comparing the, the differences in performance here. Uh, as I said, uh, Image quality suffers a little bit with FSR versus DLSS, but FSR does have a higher frame rate, just a little bit of uh, lower lows, unfortunately. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, we hope to see you in the next one.